Welcome back to part 5 of Mega Man X4. The War of Stupidity continues, and now it's time to take on our fourth Maverick, Storm Owl, who is trying to move all of his fleets off the planet. Problem is, his fleets are also being attacked. I don't think it's our fault. No, it really isn't. But anyway, this stage is pretty good. The only thing that's annoying is the enemies that are so hard to hit. How should I put it? The enemies that tend to duck your shots, that you have to actually dash shot to kill. Those enemies are a pain in the ass, and they're everywhere here. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a minute. Anyway, Storm Owl will have ships and platforms over bottomless pits. And bottomless pits are not fun. We already know how annoying they are in the Mega Man series. We know how annoying they are in the Castlevania series and so forth. And now for our ride armor for the game. We're basically uh, using this ride armor that has a cannon and that's basically it. It has a charged shot. Oh, I do believe it has a charged dash, I'm not sure. But we'll be seeing this again in Several Mega Man X games, like X5 and 6. And I did not mean to get out of my suit. But if you're not in the suit, you just gotta wait until the cannons finish firing their missiles and their laser in order for you to uh, destroy the cannons with the Mega Buster. But if you're using the suit, just use a charge shot, that's all. Not shoot the mech armor, that's all. Oh, and these little bastards, that's the ones I was talking about. They're small, they're annoying, they're everywhere. And if I had the right armor, which I didn't mean to lose the right armor there, I would have been able to make this without any problems. But unfortunately, damn it! I made it a little bit too late and got, got killed there. By the way, those little bastards actually cost me to die at least four times. Yeah, so technically I came here from a game over because those little things were actually on the platform right before the thing was going to fire and they hit me. And that happened to me three times off screen. Anyway, now we're in the second portion of this area with the firing laser cannons. I mean, yeah, the laser turrets. These laser turrets will constantly charge fire, I mean, yeah, they'll charge their laser fire in a pattern. You just gotta know what that pattern is before you strike. And they're gone now. Now for probably one of the most difficult uh, power-ups to get. You need to use the uh, lightning web to double jump onto the spikes to get up to God damn it, that was so close. To get up to the Dr. Light capsule. It is tough, trust me. And sadly, this will take me about three lives. God damn it. Alright. Two lives later I finally got up here. Oh, and now for the capsule itself. You can charge up the full blast at the time with this arm module. Uh, is there something wrong, Dr. Light? You kind of sound like you're stuttering there. It takes a while to charge, but you can fire as charge shot at any time you so wish with it. This arm module is also changeable. Enter this capsule to change parts. Uh, no, I am not going to use that one. Instead, we use the one we really want. With this arm pot, you can fire the plasma shot, which is effective against stronger enemies. If the shot hits the opponent, plasma is generated, which will cause additional damage to the enemy. This arm module is changeable. The en enter this capsule to change parts. And from here on in, we can now charge weapons. Not to mention, we've got the incredibly powerful charge shot. 
let me charge plasma shot. Which will carry over for two games. Yeah, Dr. Light, I don't want that arm part. That arm part sucks. I'm pretty sure somebody actually beat the game with that different arm part, but... Oh, damn it, that was stupid. Ready. Anyway, I'm pretty sure somebody beat the game with that specific arm part. But I doubt I can. But let me show you the plasma shot in action. It, and as you saw earlier, it leaves like plasma residue where you can just blast the enemy and the enemy will take severe damage. It's pretty much like the tornado hole for Mega Man 8. Except it's in, it's like vertically and horizontally. Or it's the other way around. Ah, who cares? Anyway, you can just kill this enemy quickly with the charge shot. That's all you basically need to do is just fire a couple of charge shots. It'll hit it as soon as it's open. Now it's actual robot, I mean, not robot master, maverick weakness? I am not too sure of, but the plasma shot works really well in this area. And of course, you're surrounded by lasers, so take the time to stop, shoot the lasers, because they're in a pattern, and just destroy this, and you're done. As a matter of fact, that's the last thing we had to do with this stage. I mean, the stage is not troublesome, other than the little walker robots that constantly screw me out of, uh, platforming. Everything else seems to be fine. Well, that and getting the, uh... Dr. Light Capsule, but still, everything else seems to be fine, and it's a short, fast-paced stage, which is why I like it. And now we're in Storm Owl stage. How dare you destroy my unit? You'll pay for this with your life. Uh, the UFO blew up all of your ships. It wasn't me. I mean, it killed me a couple of times, too, you know? Anyway. Oh, God damn it! I forgot about that. Storm Owl will actually swoop down and grab you if you're not careful. He will also run into you, and more importantly, he will use some projectiles at you. But, more, but the one thing you want to watch out is for when he uses Storm, I mean, a double cyclone, which is basically three cyclones on the ground. So if you do happen to see him start that formation, or watch out for that too. You just have to climb on the uh, higher platform if that happens. But if you see that formation on the ground, move out the way. Otherwise, just use the aiming laser and you'll be just fine. Nonetheless, we're done with Storm Owl stage and that makes four Mavericks in a row. And now for that something special. First of all, his weapon. You got double, double Cyclone is basically two drones that will basically go in two different directions. They call it vacuum cyclones, but they look like drones to me. Anyway, when charged, they fire, well, two cyclones in two different directions. However, we have one other thing. Once we beat the fourth Maverick, we now go on a one-on-one -on -one fight with Colonel. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, this is RVMan985. See you guys in part six where we confront Colonel and hopefully knock some sense into him before this war of stupidity gets out of control. See you guys next time.